So let's talk about feature blocks then. So they are one of the most versatile tools that we have in our proposal editor. So I'm just gonna give you a couple of different um, ways that you can use feature blocks within your proposals. And used properly, they really, really can take them from looking like you know, a very smart document to really sort of like kick them up a gear and take them to the next level. So the first thing to note is that if you, all you add to a page in Better Proposals or a template um, is a feature block, it will go full height. So what that means is once you've added you know, your nice sort of background color or whatever, it can give it like a, a nice new dimension uh, rather than that's just sort of you know, dark text on a white background. So that's definitely one to play with. The next thing to note is the patterns on the backgrounds. So if you click on the settings area and you bring that sidebar in, you can not only change the color of the background, um, but you can also add a pattern to that as well, which will automatically adjust and look really, really cool. So there's a whole bunch of different options in there you can skip through and, uh, and pick some nice ones out. Um, the next thing is trims. So in the same area that you can select a different patterns, there are a couple of different trims which have got a, you know, sort of like a nice sort of slanted bottom to them, which is really, really cool for, for different headers. There's some that are sort of angled and got arrows on them and things like that. So have a little play with, um, you know, some of the patterns there and just find some stuff that, that looks nice. Um, another is wide mode, which means that, you know, if you're trying to maybe put like a testimonial, or you're trying to sort of cool some text out and you want to put a feature block in there, you could put it into wide mode, which gives you, you've got your sort of narrow text um, margin, if you like, and it's just simply wider. So it's just another way of sort of like adding a new dimension to your content and making it look a little bit more visually appealing. The last thing is really, really cool for things like def describing a process. But if you put things like, you know, stack feature blocks on top of each other um, and give each one a different color or whatever, it reduces the gap down so they sit directly on top of each other, which looks really, really, really cool if you've got a nice um, sort of like a set of blues or a set of, a set of colors that your, you know, designer has come up with. Um, they can look really, really smart together and look great when you're describing a process or a set of stages. Looks really, really cool for that. Um, so hopefully that will give you some nice ideas on how you can use feature blocks to you know, really liven up your proposals um, and make them look really, really cool. So enjoy.